I'll be using a photo that I downloaded from Pexels. The link is in the description. I make a new 1K document that's 1024 by 1024 in Affinity Photo. Under the View menu, I open the Guides Manager. I click on the New Guide icon and add a horizontal and vertical guide. Under the File menu, I'll choose Place and drag out my image, making sure to have an even number of planks. With the layer selected, I use Ctrl J to duplicate the layer twice. I select the bottom layer and I lock it and hide it. I select the top layer and under the Filters menu, I choose the Distort menu and the Affine option. This option will allow me to move, scale, and rotate the document by percentages. It's the same as the Offset option in Photoshop. I change the X and Y offset by 50% each. I move the layer down so it's the middle layer. I select the new top layer. I select the Ellipse tool and holding down Shift and Control, I draw out an ellipse from the center of the document. I add a layer effect to the ellipse. I add a Gaussian blur and change the radius to 30. I right click on the ellipse and choose Mask to Below. I now have a tileable texture that I can export as a PNG. In Blender, I add a plane and scale it up by 5. I split the viewport and open the shader editor. I make a new material. Drag in my wood texture and connect it to the principal shader. With the Node Wrangler installed, I select the wood texture node and use Control T to add a mapping node and texture coordinate node. I then change the scale to 2. I can now see the texture tiling. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video on making tileable textures in Affinity Photo, then you're probably interested in 3D modeling or game development. So if you're interested in those topics, you may also enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.